This is Shabandu from Clean Tech Solution. Today we will be discussing about what are for pharmaceuticals. To produce drugs, tools and chemicals of a pharmaceutical grade, water is used for manufacturing, cleaning and as raw materials for medicinal products and also for testing purposes. This water needs to comply strict regulations regarding purity of standards. Water treatment systems involves processing that ensure compliance with all relevant regulations while giving medicinal products manufacturers a cost-effective and highly efficient supply of water. Water from the treatment systems needs to comply with the USP, BP, European Pharmacopoeia, IP standards as the case may be. The water treatment systems needs also to comply with the CGMP requirements, ISP guidelines, etc. Before going into the details of the system, let us first see different types of water that are normally seen in a pharmaceutical industry. We have potable water, purified water and water for injections and what is otherwise known as sterile water. What are these classes of water? Potable water is the water which is suitable for drinking. WHO has laid down specifications about the quality of potable water. Similar specifications exist for BIS and from ISO. This potable water is used in a pharmaceutical industry for two purposes, drinking water and number two is further processing it to manufacture purified water. Now what is purified water? Purified water is a pharmaceutical grade water. The specifications of purified water is mentioned in BP, USP, European Pharmacopoeia, IP and other pharmacopoeias of different countries. Purified water is used in the manufacturing of oral solid doses forms like tablets and oral liquids. It is also used in the manufacturing of external preparations like ointments and lotions. Another main use of purified water is the preparation of sterile water. Let us see the specifications of purified water BP and IP. If you look at it, you will find a significant difference in two main areas. There is a drastic reduction in the limit of microorganisms and number two, there is also a drastic reduction in the cases of other dissolved matters. Now what is water for injections or sterile water for injections? Sterile water for injections has practically zero microbial contamination load into it. This is the main difference. This type of water is used in the manufacturing of sterile products like injections, infusions, eye drops, etc. Now let us see the specs of sterile water for injection. Let us first manufacture potable water from groundwater or boreal water. This is called pretreatment of water. In this process, water is passed through different filters and media to make it a better quality of water. This process is done even if the groundwater qualifies the WHO standard of potable water. The reason behind it is to reduce the load of on purified water plant which takes this potable water as its incoming source and thus reducing the cost of production. Groundwater is first taken into a raw water storage tank. where it is treated with either chlorine or hydrogen peroxide to kill all the harmful bacteria. This treated ground water is then passed through multigrade filter also known as MGF. A multigrade filter consists of horizontal pressure sand filters that contains multiple layers of coarse and fine sand in a fixed proportion. It is a kind of a deep filter bed with adequate pore dimensions for retaining both large and small suspended solids and undissolved impurities like dust particles. Water from the multigrade filter is then passed through iron removing filters. The process through which the iron is removed from water is known as oxidation filtration that involves oxidation of soluble forms of iron and manganese to their insoluble forms and that hence removed by filtration. Water from the iron removing filter is passed through activated carbon filter also called ACF and ACF works on the principle of adsorption. The activated carbon filter medium adsorbs the pollutant molecules. 
it is primarily used to remove the color and odor of the water. This water is now treated with sodium metabisulfite to reduce the pH of the water. This is primarily done if chlorine has been used in the preliminary stages to treat water. If hydrogen peroxide have been used, no further treatment is necessary. The water now is now fit for drinking and can also be used as an incoming material to the purified water plant. Potable water is fed into the reverse osmosis system to generate purified water of pharmaceutical grade. Reverse osmosis, commonly referred as RO, is a process where water is demineralized by flowing under pressure through a semi permeable membrane. A high pressure pump is used to increase the pressure on the feed water side of RO and force the water to flow across the semi permeable membrane, leaving most part approximately 95 to 99% of the dissolved salt behind the stream. Within the membrane system, the feed water will be split into a pure water called the permeate and a high concentration of solute water called the reject. RO is capable of removing dissolved salts, particles, colloids, organics, bacteria and pyrogen from the water. RO membrane do not remove any gases. The permeate of the RO system is again given as an input to the EDI or electrodeionization system. EDI produces high quality of demineralized water. This demineralized water is commonly known as purified water of pharmaceutical grade. The purity of water is tested through a conductivity meter which should show our reading within its pharmaceutical acceptable range. This brings up to the end of part 1 of the water for pharmaceutical use. In part 2, we will be seeing water for injections, how is it prepared and how is water distributed in a pharmaceutical factory. Thank you for watching this video. If you have liked the video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.